everybody! Welcome back to my channel. So today's video we are going to be applying falsies. So I usually wear false eyelashes every time I apply makeup. Honestly because I hate my own lashes. They're super short, stubby, point down, do everything you don't want lashes to do. But anyway, so many people that I know have never tried false lashes before and I just feel like it's because it's intimidating and it's scary, but it can also be so much fun. There's so many different styles of lashes and they can dramatically change the look that you're doing and your eye shape, everything. The reason I got into false lashes was because of my mom. Hi mom, love you. And she used to wear them, you know, back in the day when they were super popular then, too. And she was the one who taught me how to first put them on, do everything I needed to do. I just wanted to mention that because now there's so many techniques, different products, compared to back then that I was showing her what I do to actually apply my false lashes. And she was just like... I just think that they've come so far and it's really fun to kind of just see how far makeup products have come from one time period to another. Without further ranting, let's get right into the video. Okay guys, so I already have my mascara on, but one thing I wanted to mention about mascara is to make sure to really build it up in the inner corners more so than you think you would need to. You want to do that because it will blend in easier. By the way, I totally want to just apologize for lighting right now. It's been really frustrating today because it's super bright outside. So there's a lot of shadows and this was the only time that I could make this video. I really hope that that isn't an issue and it doesn't distract you guys too much, but I love you. Put up with me, please. One little tip and trick that I always do with my lashes is I take a little bit of eyeliner. You can use any eyeliner for this trick. I put the eyeliner on the very roots of my lashes where there's kind of that sparse area where your mascara didn't reach so that you won't be able to see it when you put your lashes on, especially because if you're wearing eyeshadow, more than likely it probably fell a little bit into your lashes. So anyway, I'm using the Physician's Formula uh, liquid eyeliner. This is the one with the eyelash serum in it. This is a great dupe for Kat Von D's Trooper, by the way. Love this. I really can't tell the difference between the two, except for the price. With my choice of lashes, I'm totally all over the place as far as brands and the style of lash that I use. I kind of just go for it, try different ones if I haven't seen them before, and of course I have favorites. One of my absolute favorites is the Kiss Blooming Lash. It gives you the look of having a double lash without all that work. Um, I really do like Kiss as a brand. I've been getting into the Salon Perfect brand. Um, what you want to keep in mind is that I usually use drugstore lashes. I buy them in value packs like this. But um, a lot of the time they do sell certain styles of a lash just in the separate one. I buy those too, but I really like drugstore lashes. I don't feel like I should go out and pay $40 or whatever god-awful price it is for one set of lashes. I just I can't do it. I can't. The ones that I'm using today are from Salon Perfect. Their style is Go Glam Multi-Pack. You get five pairs of lashes. I've already used two. When I am removing them from the pack, I usually take my tweezers and I take the outer edge of this, not the inner, and just lightly pull it because you want to be careful that you do not tear these. You will be very sad. Once you have your lashes removed all safely and sound, you want to fit them to your eye. So 
With these lashes, I've noticed that it's really hard to tell one end from the other, so make sure as soon as you take them off, you put them in a certain way to where you know which end is which, because trust me, I have not done that before and been so pissed at myself. <laughs> you want to just take them and kind of put them over your eye and see what is going to be a good fit for you and then trim them accordingly. So these are already pretty close to my eye shape, which is nice because that's really hard to find, honestly. So I'm just going to trim them a little tiny bit so they'll fit like a glove. The place that you want to trim these is on the outer edge. So you never want to trim the inner corner of your lashes because it, if it's a good quality lash, it should be tapered in such a way that it's supposed to fit very nicely. If you cut the outer edge, then it won't make as much of a difference. The scissors I like to use for this are like um, sewing scissors. I mean, you can totally make regular size scissors work but you're more likely to make mistakes if you're not using smaller ones. There, nice trimmed lash. Okay, so what I like to do to go ahead and trim the other one to make sure that I get them even every time is I take this one that's already trimmed and then I take my other one like this, lay them down on a table, even them out, so you'll be able to easily see where it's supposed to be at. Can we just talk about my nails for one second? I just want to give a shout out to these. They're so beautiful. Christmas, Christmas nails. Oh, I love you, Christmas. Red Bull, Red Bull and Christmas nails. I love you. The lash glue that I am absolutely obsessed with, I actually heard from Emily Noel's channel. She highly recommended this. I went out, picked it up right away. The Revlon Precision Clear Lash Adhesive. Mine is in clear. I'm not sure if they come in other shades. The reason that I like this is definitely because of the applicator. Mine has a little thing that's poking out, but you can just trim that down if that happens. It doesn't really bug me, but this applicator is so much easier than a squeezy tube. Squeezy tubes just get so messy and gross and bleh, I don't like them. The only thing that I've ever had happen is the inner corner kind of pop out. I'll stick a little bit more on and then pop it back into place. Doesn't budge. I've never had a lash fall off at all. Um, later on in the day or after I'm applying them. So. You guys should really check this out, and it's super affordable. Love it. When you're applying um, the glue to the lash band, you want to make sure you get a really nice even layer. Sometimes I put a little extra on the inner corner and the outside, but besides that, just you know, make sure there's no clumps or anything like that. This is a clear glue. I definitely prefer that so it doesn't mess anything up. See, that's, this is the amount that you need. It's really not that much. If you get too much glue on there, you're going to be in trouble. It will, it will not be fun to apply it. So now all that's left to do is just wait for your lashes to dry. Um, another, I guess it's a tip, but while I'm waiting for my lashes to dry, I'm usually doing my mascara. And in that time that you're done with your mascara, they should definitely be dried and good to go. You want them to be a nice tacky, but don't let them dry down all the way or you'll just have to go through and apply the glue again. I would say that it probably takes around three minutes maybe, but you'll be able to see it drying down. And with the clear one, as soon as it starts to get clear, then you're usually good to go. For the love of God, you guys, please do not blow on your lashes being impatient for the glue to dry. Instead, just fan them. It's way more hygienic, and also it won't make any kind of a mess or ruin your lashes. Now that my glue is tacky and I feel like it's in the right place, I take my tweezers, I grab the very, very outer corner like that and grab it 
relatively close to the lash band. I always start on my outer corners. I definitely feel like it's the easiest thing to do. You just want to tilt this towards your eye and lay down the inner corner first. Kind of wiggle it in there to ensure that it stays. Then you want to grab the inner corner, make sure it's out of the way, then get on to the middle and lay the middle down. Again, wiggling. You want to make this very close to your lash line, but make sure that it's not on the hairs. Then take your inner corner. What you're going to want to do is make this the very closest part to your lash line. Again, wiggle it in when you got it in there to ensure that it stays all the way. Then when you're done applying it, push it in very lightly with your finger just to make sure all of the places adhered correctly. Again, starting from the outer corner, working my way in, laying that down flat then doing the middle, and then the inner corner. Remember to wiggle it in. It's the best way to ensure that it stays. Then just push on it lightly, get everything into place. Okay, so now that we have our lashes all applied, and they're looking beautiful, flawless, maybe had to try a few times, don't get frustrated, just take a deep breath, move on. If you didn't notice, I am not wearing any eyeliner, and I did that for a reason. I wanted to show you guys what I do when I apply false lashes but no liner to still make it look seamless and blend. All I do is just line the inner corners of my eyes just to be positive that everything flows and you know because if you wear big enough false lashes and no eyeliner whatsoever you're just going to have that big open space right there. I've done it before and I have would go back and look at pictures of myself like that and I don't like it so I tend to do this most of the time. When you make that line with your eyeliner, just try to make it as thin as you possibly can so it matches the line of your lash line. Okay guys, so that was how I apply false lashes, all of my tips and tricks, everything that I do on a regular basis when I apply my falsies. Just remember that I didn't do this overnight. People, I think, get really frustrated with false lashes, and what I would recommend to do is if you don't think you're good at it, do it over and over and over again. That's the only way you're going to get better at something. Step out of your comfort zone a little bit. Just, I would say to apply false lashes for a month straight. You will be able to do it so easily if you were to apply falsies for a month straight it's not even funny that's what i did i just applied them over and over and over again i found ones that were good to practice with and the right glue that is essential if you have awesome lashes and crappy glue it's gonna bite you the other thing is just be patient for the glue to dry too. If it's not dried all the way, they are going to slip and slide all over the place. I'm telling you, mm -mm, not fun. So just get out there, try to apply some false lashes and have fun with it. Like I said, so many different styles, things to try. It's a really, really fun product. You just got to learn how to do it right and what works for you. Don't forget before you leave to subscribe to my channel. Also give this a thumbs up if you liked it and it was helpful. I hope that everybody has a beautiful, beautiful day. I love you all and bye you guys.